Hello, everybody, and welcome to Keisha's World. I'm your host, Keisha Charmaine, and I have a fabulous, fabulous guest with me today, and her name is Destiny. You want to say hi? hi. <laughs> and your name is so fitting because I just feel like it was divine destiny that just brought us together. And so um, I'm venturing out, and I've been doing Uber rides. And so um, I always say, God, you know, when you send me out, partner with me, use me for your glory. You know what I mean? Like send people my way that I can help. Send people my way that can help me, vice versa. And so I just had a fabulous, fabulous conversation with this beautiful, beautiful young queen. And she just inspired me like to no end. And so I thought it would be good to just share her story, her experience, with you because I believe anybody that's tuning in and watching this right now, you're tuning in because you're supposed to be here. You know, you're always at the right place at the right time. And so with that being said, can you just well let's 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 start it off like this. So basically I get the call to go get this girl. <laughs> I get the call to go get her. And so when I go to pick her up, it's like totally like the wrong address. And so I'm like, okay, what is going on? So I reached out to the person that booked the ride for her, and they're like, oh, we're trying to locate her now. She's, you know, let me text her, see where she's at, blah, blah, blah. And so eventually we were able to link up, and I just drove to the place where she was, and I found her. And I just wanted to make sure that she's safe because there's some weirdos out there, right? <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? Like rapists, murderers, sex traffickers. And so I'm a mother. And so I just want to make sure that um, people are safe, especially women, because I'm an, um, a sexual assault advocate. I'm a domestic violence advocate. And I don't want to see anybody in a bad situation because I know what it's like to be in an unsafe, bad situation that could go all the way wrong. And so I finally caught up to you, right? Yeah. <laughs> You know, a little it took a minute. <laughs> it did, but I did finally find you. And so, um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell uh, them a little bit about yourself. Well, like she said, I'm Destiny. I'm 20 years old. Um, I've been in and out of the foster care system from the age of three. Okay. Uh, I bumped from home to home before I was finally adopted in like around middle school. Mm -hmm. Um. I was always told that I wasn't going to amount to anything. I was going to be just like my biological mother, uh, bouncing from man to man, from home to home. You know, I wasn't going to amount to anything. I wasn't going to go to college. Uh, the, uh, the home that I was adopted into, it was very abusive and trying. Mm -hmm. I, um, I was told that instead of focusing on my education, I had to focus on the others in the home, I had to take care of them rather than myself. I had to put their wealth and health and well-being, you know, before mine. And it became so trying that when high school finally came and when I, I was like, you know what, forget about it. She says that, you know, my education's not going to be anything, and my education is not going to be anything. Well, what did she say to you? Because it sounds like she just like spoke death over you which a lot and that happens when you're in a toxic relationship or within a toxic family like she basically told you like you're not going to amount to anything like those are powerful words mm -hmm. and had you come into agreement with those words of death that she spoke to you we might not be here talking right now because that's heavy to come from yeah. someone that's supposed to be a mother figure so what did she say to you specifically um i'm not gonna lie to you that did put me down for a while you know i actually agreed with her at some point i was okay. like you know she says that i'm not anything so i'm not anything um she would say that you know my mother comes from an abusive home so i'm gonna come from an abusive home wow. um, my mother <laughs> Period. Right now, period. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, she told me, you know, I wasn't going to go to college. I wasn't going to amount to anything good. If I was going to further my education, it had to be for 
for what she wanted, not for what I wanted. And what did she want? She wanted me to either be a CNA or a teacher. Wow. Neither paths of which I would have liked. No. Um, personally, I'm studying to become an aerospace engineer. Okay. I'm trying to get my money up, not my money up. I know, okay. that's right. I don't even know what an aerospace engineer is. I might have to Google that later. <laughs> But what is, what is that? What would you do with that? Um, I would be working with Sikorsky, NASA, okay. you know, big companies like that. Right. Um, building planes, rockets, learning the science behind it all. Okay. Um, with NASA and the rockets, I would actually be going up to outer space. You wow. know, I would be, you know, the next Neil Armstrong. That's amazing. That's awesome. I love that. I yeah. can totally see you doing that. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your experience with um, this evil stepmom, I guess we'll call her, that yeah. was your foster mom. Um, she was abusive in the sense of physical abuse and emotional abuse. Um, she would take anything and hit me. Um, wow. It got so much to the point where I was like, you know what? Now, I'm gonna go out and do me, you know. Okay. She sends me to school, I'll skip school and I'll go hang out with people that I wasn't supposed to hang out with, you know, the wrong crowd. Okay. Um you were like looking for attention, but looking for attention like and, looking and for love, love. Yeah. acceptance. Yeah, I was looking okay. for somebody to hug on and love me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I couldn't find that, you know, in the space that I was living in. Okay. But um, eventually it led to a teen pregnancy and then an abortion and then me going right back to the home and then the, the abuse continued for three more years and then I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna run away. You ran came, away? I ran away. Where'd you go? Nowhere, in the streets. So I you was were homeless. homeless. Pregnant and homeless. That's scary. I mean, but I'm here now, and, you know, I made it to college, so I'm happy with where I am, I'm happy with who I'm going to be, and I'm glad I just out of that situation. I know, that's right. So it's basically like, if you didn't get accepted into this college, you I would, would still be there. You would still be homeless. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy. And so tell me a little bit about, like, what you want to do, like beyond the aerospace, you you talked about being like a speaker, going and telling yeah. people about. I uh, I while I'm working on my career path, I do want to speak out, you know, at schools and tell you know girls around my age that I am now, you know, like what happened to me, how they could prevent it, you know, the little signs of you know abuse, misuse, and you know, hopefully save some people. I love that. I love that. And so like the title of this segment is called Beware of the Helpers. And the reason why it's called Beware of the Helpers is because you're going to encounter people in life that are going to say, hey, you know, let me help you. Come live with me. Come move with me. Let me um, pay for your Uber trips or let me um, buy this for you and help you do this, that, and the fourth. But, but then eventually you will get trapped in the hurt. They use the helping as a means to form a bond with you like a narcissist would do form a bond with you and then once they start helping you then it's like you're in this vulnerable state where they can eventually like just tear you down and actually hurt you destroy you and devastate you but let me just tell you all you nasty evil people out there that are destroying people and pretending to help them you're gonna get what's coming to you because God does not like ugly. And look what happened with this girl. This woman wanted her to be a CNA or a teacher, but she can't write work for NASA, period. <laughs> this lady wanted to kick her out on the streets because she was out there looking for love and got pregnant. And now she's at a beautiful college. She's doing well, she's thriving and she's surviving. So everything that that woman tried to do to her is just backfiring. And so this woman is just like powerful. She's a young queen. You know, you're gonna see her in NASA. You're gonna see her at different universities and schools speaking the truth and enlightening people about the dark side of these foster homes. You know, these people say, oh, I got these foster kids and I'm helping them. No, they're using that help 
as a way to hurt and tear people down so that they can feel better about themselves. I just want to encourage anybody out there that grew up in a foster home, if you had a foster mother or somebody that told you that you couldn't make it, they told you that you would never amount to anything, that you weren't going to do this, that, and the third, don't believe that. Don't come into the, into the agreement with the lies of the enemy over your life. Don't come into agreement with those words of death that people spoke over you. Replace those words of death with words of life. And I'm here to tell you that you can make it. You can evolve. You can be strong. You can be everything that, you, that God intended for you to be. And so I just appreciate all of you for listening. And Destiny, I just want to thank you so much for being humble and for being transparent to share your story. No because you didn't have to. And like, you don't know, like you truly inspired me. And I'm just grateful to God that this just one thing that seemed like just a small Uber trip turned into something like this, because you just never know who you're impacting. You never know who's like, who you're going to touch with the story that you share. You know, like we all have a purpose and a plan. And so I'm just grateful to God for giving me this platform. I'm grateful to God for allowing me to cross paths with Destiny and her sharing her story. And so the word of the day is, beware them helpers, honey, because sometimes they only helping you so that they can hurt you. There's never a dull moment in Keisha's world. So stay tuned, baby. Period. Wow. <laughs>